Prince Venice and Sharks, here we go. It's the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. All right, so we're coming in to the main pool here. Now right now this one's kind of quartered off. It is still being cleaned up after the UFC fight. But this is the main portion of the Resorts World Pool. If you look immediately to your left, you're gonna see the towel area where you pick up your towels. And then they do have a surf store over here. I think it's closed currently. But if you did want to get some overpriced snacks and some extra sunglasses and things like that, they will readily steal your money here if you're into that sort of thing. That's the Swim Society store. All right, moving back around, I think we have the Bimini pool over here. That's going to be on this side. Oh, that's the Bimini bar. So they do have a smaller bar on this side here that does feature a lot of drinks and hardwood floors. Okay, so it looks like it's actually stone, but I was not prepared for that. But yeah, this is not a bad place. I think the main pool proper is closed over here because they are not taking any guests in this area. But this is one of the many pools here. I think they did have a private party. So yeah. But you have the mini pool over here. You have a smaller three foot wading pool here. And then you have the much larger Olympic, well I guess it's not an Olympic pool. There's just a much larger pool here. We're back in the main pool much better view of the main pool and then we are also back at the first of two large pools here I also do one of Wonder Woman hiding slightly off camera I didn't want to say hi for a sec wait hang on now we can wave now you can wave huh? now you can wave <laughs> got my boy Ronnie in the house too Ronnie are you enjoying these uh, submerged pool chairs here they're not low enough we need a lower chair let me see, let me get in here. Yeah, you're right, these aren't low enough. It's refreshing though, it's a little refreshing. Yes, I have dangerously underestimated. Oh no, oh my God. After a little while, it definitely gets you. So back from the main pool, we are gonna see one of the two curved pools here. That also includes some of the submerged pool chairs there. And then you also have the agave bar on the other side. Actually a pretty lovely spot. The agave bar and grill, if you're in the mood for something at least somewhat Mexican, then that is an option. It's got an outdoor, it's actually pretty much all outdoor. So if you're concerned about social distancing and whatnot, it's an option for you. And then we have more of the pool coming back this way. They even have open submerged day beds, so that's pretty awesome. Now, it is a hot day out today. You definitely want to make sure you get yourself in the water. It is nearly 120 degrees and bring your flip-flops down. I know I'm not really a big proponent of sandals, but it's a good day for them. So, that's an option. How's it going, man? Good spot. They got lifeguards on duty everywhere. So that's pretty awesome. And that's the end of the main pool. Back from the agave bar and all that. And you can get some more towels back this way. And then they also do have a swim shop over here too. And there's the Sunkist store. Oh, and they have a nice little family pool over here. So look at this. It's all in yellow. And then you have nice little rides in water fountains for the kids to play with. Now, I think it's closed right now. So we probably won't be diving in.
All right, guys. So the infinity pool is going to be up that way. We're going to take a little walk. The rest of the family pool actually looks kind of cool, though. So if you do have kiddos in Vegas, it's an option for you. But they're not letting anyone in the pool to clean up after the storm. And they do have some more cabanas here. <laughs> Look at that. It even fills up. They got this little deal that fills up with water, and then it dumps it on you. So that's a cute little feature. Then you also have the bites bar over here. So a nice place to get out of the sun, even if it is just for a minute, and grab some drinks. And then coming back the other way. Back to the main pool again. But this is on the upper deck here, so you have more day beds, or more regular beds. The regular pool chairs actually look like day beds compared to a lot of other pool chairs here. They're actually in pretty good shape, well cushioned and all that. So you honestly can't tell the difference offhandedly. And then coming up is the infinity pool. I'm just gonna pop in for a drink. I just wanna go to the bar, so we're gonna pop in. Hey, you modify the bar? Thanks a lot, appreciate it. Everyone's really kind and polite over here. I'm gonna take a little walk around the pool too, but we're gonna pop in, we're gonna get a drink. So I'd love to have a drink at the pool. But yeah, here is the infinity pool. They have a center bar over here, private bar, and it's actually pretty quiet. So if you're looking for a drink at the center bar and you're having trouble getting there, then uh, it's a good place. But yeah, this is what the infinity pool looks like. A lot of cabanas. You need to have a day bed or a cabana reservation to be in here. Uh, but if you're just popping into the pool, you can do that too. So they have the one pool down this way. And then they have the actual infinity pool that sees off the edge to the strip over here. That is awesome. Now you can't sit on that edge, but wow, what a place to have a drink. Look at that view. It's gonna be even better when they're done with that construction down there, but it's pretty. But yeah, take a look at all this. That is one awesome pool. Oh, and they even have swing day beds. Look at those day beds, they're like swings, that's awesome. And they have more day beds here too. I should probably put a link to the pricing for day beds. I think it was only 150 for like a day bed, and then for a cabana it was 300. But yeah, let's uh, take a break. We're gonna get a drink here and I'll show you the rest of the pool. All right, guys, leaving the infinity pool here. We're coming back. Got even more umbrellas. I'm sipping my Akira Nichiban while I'm doing this. This is not a sponsor plug. It's just hot out here, and I wanted a beer. And then we are walking back over here. There is another pool on this side. They don't have a lazy river at this hotel, but they do have plenty of pools here, including this one with the waterfall in the middle, and that is spectacular. I love the look of this place. But a great place to sunbathe. A lot of cabanas up this way. I think this is the cabana pool itself. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, great tip about the infinity pool, by the way. Getting the bar there, no line. Beautiful idea, thank you. But yeah, that is the cabana pool there. It is, it's pretty secluded, but it's not terribly busy too. So then that takes us back to the Bimini pool which again is currently closed. And then that'll take us back to the original main pool. We'll take one more look at the Domini pool because I accidentally almost burned my feet walking back from it. But that's a better look at the area. Absolutely stunning, love it. And then we're coming back. Back to the main pool. Unfortunately, this pool area is closed today because they're still cleaning up from a storm, but normally this would be open. And they have the cabanas in the middle, too. But yeah, that's just going to about do it for the Resorts World Pool. We are in action. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. What do you guys think of the Resorts World Pool? Have you been? Would you go back? Or would you avoid it? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Till next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out and I'm wishing you all strong hands and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas.
Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva 